We looked at safety information and it's basically very similar across the different subsets. And then we looked at um, other endpoints that you can evaluate. So in the uh, neoadjuvant trials, they were able to look at PCR and most of the trials then give trastuzumab for a year or the uh, so originator or biosimilar and stop. So the entire exposure is a year regardless of what the adjuvant study is. Only one of the trials is really looking at longer-term disease-free survival, and that was added as an endpoint once they got to the one year. Uh, so presumably they'll have most of those people evaluated for five years. That's really good. We don't have that endpoint yet. For the metastatic setting, you have the advantage of giving, you give chemotherapy and combined antibody, and then you stop we stopped at 24 weeks for our biosimilar trial, and then you continue the antibody afterwards. So you either have the originator or the biosimilar, and you continue until disease progression. So your exposure to drug is much longer in terms of safety evaluation, and you can, because it's a, unfortunately a shorter term endpoint, look at progression-free survival and, of course, overall survival as well after a specified number of events. In our biosimilar trial, we were actually able to show that uh, the overall response at 24 weeks correlated very highly with 48-week progression-free survival, which is great because it means these short-term endpoints do correlate even in the metastatic setting.